All right, guys, it's not working for me. If you just saw my last video, here's a quick clip of what happened. Really? And uh, here we are, and it's driving me nuts, and I can't go another second. So let's sporadically grab whatever looks like it's going to make my hair soft, and I'm literally going to throw it all in a bowl together and put it on my head because it is just driving me nuts. Look at it. Come on, no. Ugh. All right, let's see what we got. All right, no, I'm I'm taking this I'm taking this seriously right now. All right, let me see. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got mane and tail. What else? No shampoo for me. That's not good enough. We got my son's flawless curls. Oh, let me touch it. We got my son's flawless curls. We got uh, some kind of a replenishing hair mask. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell we love the hair color in this house. Oh, I don't know why that's stained. I thought I cleaned it up. Is that it? Is that all we got? I thought I, ha I thought I had a good... Ah, yes. Yeah, some head and shoulders. Actually, maybe we'll take this one out. Let's like mix those. I'll put a little bit of that in there. Oh, wow. This is crazy. All right. Well, I've had enough. I want my hair soft so we can bleach it soon. So we're going to straight up get right into it, aren't we? All right, guys. I dumped it all in a bowl. All of them. Mixing it in, getting my hair wet, throwing it in. Cause I'm over it. All right, guys, I put it in my hair. It turned out to be quite the weirdest frothy kind of mixture, like with the water. I, cause I, and I'm gonna let you guys know, I left my hair absolutely. You can probably hear it. Watch. Can you hear it? Ew. Sorry, that grossed anyone out. Anyways, it's like, so I got a good set in there, but that's probably because I left my hair as wet as possible. Like, when I got in the shower, I was just pouring water out a towel on my lap. And I did use hot water. You can see some of the color coming out of my hair. I don't normally have color coming out of my hair. It's not bothering me because I'm going to be bleaching it and recoloring it anyways and stuff, but... Alright, well, so I just... And, oh, and then I did um, dry brush it first before I got it wet. Um, I might use a wide tooth comb. You know, I actually, since we're sitting here, I'm talking about it. I'm going to use a wide tooth comb to kind of brush this through my hair and kind of get any loose hairs. But, you know, uh, as far as I know, I don't think it's a good idea to brush your hair wet and, you know, what kind of brushes and stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm really trying to embrace what's right or wrong these days because, uh, as far as what works best for you, I mean, when I was younger and stuff, I, I honestly, I'd use 40 volume bleach on myself. Um, I, I didn't really care too much. Uh, and I still probably don't to a point, but I, I do notice that uh, as I've gotten older and done a lot of damage to my hair, it's kind of like one of those things where if I want to keep doing it, I have to take care of my hair, you know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, I guess that's about all the, the middle-aged wisdom I have for you guys today. I mean, like, the the weirdest... Yeah, see, look at... that's See, that is getting a lot of hairs that I need to get out. It's... My hair is so thick that a lot of hairs that should have probably came out, uh, they get kind of tangled up in my hair. And after using that product I just used... Oh, gosh. After using that product I just used in the last video, the Brazilian... It's like the hair is stuck on my comb. <laughs> Look at all that. Oh my gosh, I'm still kind of seething from that. I don't know why it did that to my hair, you guys. <laughs> I'm just still not happy. Alright. Well, my hair is fully saturated and I'm hoping this random blend of everything will bring it together. I'm also not surprised that some of the color was just coming out. Um, cause I have, like, I did put, you know, all kinds of fun stuff that normally will fade my hair pretty quick, like the herbal essences, or not herbal essences, sorry, that's, my brain was, my son just got some herbal essences that he wanted, so that was stuck in my head. I meant, uh, the dandruff shampoo, come on, we all know it, head and shoulders, that one, so, um, that usually is We'll strip that color out pretty well if you need it to. Um, you know, sometimes I do that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we are. 
nice and saturated. Color's still hanging in there. It's almost going to be a shame to change it, but we can always come back. Any ideas? I keep changing my mind. I can't, uh, I keep changing my mind on the color and how I'm going to do it, so I don't know. If you guys have anything you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just kind of keep going down the path I'm going. Uh, there's, oh my gosh, like, I can't even sleep sometimes at night thinking about stuff I want to do to my hair. And then I keep changing my mind, so. Luckily, I got all the time I have on this earth, and I don't know how much time that is, but I've wasted most of it, so I'm going to start uh, utilizing what I got left. Anybody with me want to give it a shot? I'll be here. Until then, obviously, that was what that was about. So I'm going to leave this in for as long as possible. It's conditioner. I, I, uh, so the longer this is, the better. Um, check out my last video if you're curious what caused that big knot in my hair. I'm still not quite exactly sure how it went down. I just know I'm fixing it quick. And it was another chance to say hi to you guys. I'm looking forward to some other stuff we got going on. And until then, you know me, I'm going to leave this in till I get time to rinse it out. At least over an hour minimum. Um, sometimes I've let it go all day if I'm home. I could, you know, and let it even dry in my hair and rinse it out. So I'm just kind of going with the motions. Uh, hope you guys are all doing pretty good. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. Um, you guys are all super amazing. And I guess I didn't even mention in the beginning. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back, you know, to my channel, Jane Doe. Um, and yeah, I guess that's about it. I guess uh, I just totally spaced the subscribe thing because I just assumed that you guys are all... <laughs> Yeah, you guys kind of probably, you know, assume that's part of the thing. If you like hanging out, then you'll subscribe. So my bad for not mentioning it earlier. But, you know, please do if you if you forgot. I do forget all the time. So, And uh, if you don't want to, that's fine too. Because why stick around if you don't like hanging out? I wouldn't want to stick around anywhere I don't want to hang out. Because uh, that would make me uncomfortable. And I don't like being places that I don't feel like. Because I don't like being told what to do. I'm a, I wouldn't say rebel authority issues yeah uh, I just don't I, I like to have I like to have option op options is that what me and my husband always say yeah for from American dad I like the option I like the option of my choices uh with that being said I'm gonna go and I've, it's been a pretty mobile couple days for me like I feel like crap and I'm pretty sure from the little amount of cleaning I did get to do, which really fuels fuels me. I love being active, especially when I can't be active sometimes. It's like I crave being active if I can. I get upset when I can't. Totally opposite from how I used to be. <laughs> if anyone knew me from back in the day, uh, I wasn't that excited about housework, but now I actually really enjoy when I can get to it. The point is, I'm going to use the energy I've left all this sits in my head and hang out with the kiddo and just do regular what some of you might consider boring stuff what I consider really awesome that I have the opportunity to do those kinds of things um so yeah I don't know I went off the rails now there's something so relaxing about putting the stuff in your hair oh man oh gosh don't you guys love when you go to a salon it's like that part where they're rubbing your head and they're, and they're washing your head Oh, I could just literally, that could, that would be a beautiful place to sit forever, I'm telling you. I am now I want to go get my hair cut really bad. Like I told you guys before, I only go about like once a year, once every six months, sometimes only once a year. Um, man, but that sounds nice. <laughs> All right, much love, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys when it's rinsed out. Hey, guys, I rinsed it out. Um... I actually ended up zoning out, okay, for the first, like, 20 minutes or so after my kiddo fell asleep. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to paint my nails. My hands aren't too shaky today, which, by the way, I did a great job, if I do say so myself. Woo! I mean, I just got to give myself the pat on the back I deserve because I worked hard on these. <laughs> you wouldn't even know that I just painted over old nail polish. Uh, but no, anyways, uh, so then, but the whole time I had like water in my ear and I couldn't, 
uh, do anything about it. It was um, just so not relaxing, that part. Just so you guys know, it's been about two hours. That was one of the points I was trying to get to. And uh, yeah, now I'm just like all tensed up. I'm freezing and my hair's wet, but it's rinsed out. So uh, let's see. When I was rinsing it out, I can't really decide. You know, sometimes when you first rinse your hair out, you got that real nice silky hair. You can tell it's going to be just awesome. Um, I can't tell if I got the feeling, which I can't feel my hands that well. So we'll see. There was a lot of color came that came out. Um, it still looks really nice and vibrant. But yeah, a lot of color came out, to be honest with you. I'm not worried about it because we're going to be... Uh, coloring it and stuff soon but just if you guys are following the vivid trail of things as far as the hair um so let's see i'm not gonna brush it or anything i'm just gonna let it air dry it does feel like i think we might have uh fixed whatever i did do it and uh, i'm i'm able to run my fingers through some now which is nice so i'm hopeful but as we've learned I'm not going to know with my hair until at least tomorrow, uh, if not late tonight, tomorrow, maybe even after that, because my hair wasn't a tangled mess until later. It feels promising. And of course, since I threw so many together, we won't know. But honestly, this was just about me fixing this because it was driving me absolutely crazy. Oh, did I mess them up? I squeezed my towel too hard because they weren't dry yet. All right, let's see the back. It does feel better. I think I'll be able to live with this. I'm just kind of sucked that I had to do a full, all over full uh, wash within 48 hours when you have vivid hair. That's not normally what you want, but like I said, probably 10,000 times now. Which I just forgot what I was going to say. I've said it 10,000 times, so we're fine. <laughs> Move on. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys when it's dry. It feels great. It does feel a lot better, but it's hard to tell with my hair. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. And I think I'm just going to let the conditioner maybe do its thing and then see if I want to put something on my ends. Actually, let me see what I have laying around. We have some Ion Reparative Leave-In Spray, Lightweight Protein Leave-In Conditioner, Strengthens and Repairs Dry Damaged Hair. Towel dry hair? Eh, let's, let's, uh, I do use this when I get out of the shower from time to time. Uh, the lady at Sally's, or the girl, I guess I should say. I'm just going to put a tiny bit right now on my end, so. Um, she had vivid hair, and I think it was like a couple of years ago, actually. Within, within at least a year and a half, if not longer. She said that she uses that on her hair, and so I got it, and I've been using it, and um, I can't I can't really say for sure how my whole head feels after I use it. Uh, I do feel like it does a little something, though. I can go review that line for you guys if you want, if that's something you're interested in for the Ion Repair Solutions, because they have so many. I, I'm a hit and miss with Ion. Some of their like shampoos and conditioners that I've had and products, they don't work that well in my hair. Um, but some of their stuff does. So it's a hit and miss with them because, you know, everyone's hair is different. That's just how mine reacts. I put that on my hands. Uh, I, I feel a lot better about it. I still am kind of wary. And yes, I know the acne. It, it is what it is, guys. I, I can't help it. I'm telling you. I don't want to glob a bunch of stuff on my face. I'm trying to trying to get rid of it but you know uh, there's really nothing I can do about it so it's probably bugging me you guys maybe you didn't even notice it till I said it I don't know but <laughs> and I'm just having like the most just like goofy off day today I think it's because it's rainy out I like rainy days um I, li I like all days I like all weather what am I talking about I just like outdoors in general I love nature so, uh, I, I see, it seems okay. Um, hopefully when the night comes and the, and I sleep on it, like last time, in the last video, you know what, regardless, that wasn't what did it. That wasn't what did it. The hair clip falls in, the hair clip in my hair is not what did that to my hair. I believe it was the product that I used on my hair. Look at the roots coming in. All right, it's been five minutes of me going squirrel, so I will... 
see you guys later when it's dry. I'm, and I just keep forgetting that you guys aren't like sitting here hanging out with me. So I think I just tend to kind of drone on with that. And I hope you enjoy the rest of whatever you're doing. Well, I guess it'll just be a second, huh? Okay, well, then when this video's over, I hope that you enjoy the rest of whatever you are doing. It feels soft. I don't feel like my hair is going to break off anymore. That was so horrible. Um, yeah, I'll still uh, write down in the description below what, <laughs> what random stuff from my shower I threw in there. But uh, it was just kind of a weird little concoction of whatever was floating around, so... Couldn't really uh, tell you guys what specifically might have been the winner that fixed this, but I'm just hoping that we fixed it at all because I'm nervous it's just going to still be all fried. It does feel like there is definitely like kind of a coating through it. I might, if this doesn't work, I might have to, I might have to just, uh, just cave, man, uh, cave, man. My mom's favorite Geico commercials when she was still alive. Um, anyways, if this is work, I might just have to cave and go. go uh, well, you know, I, did you guys want to come to Sally's? I want to look at hair color. Maybe I'll have to go. Basically, maybe I'll have to go sooner and find like a super heavy duty uh, mask or something to really bring this back to life. Or maybe I'll have to cave even sooner. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to put you guys want to see the back while I put it up. I'm just going to put it up for a little bit. I'm not going to fall asleep with it up, hopefully, I just want to, give the undercarriage a little time to air out, this isn't working, sorry, it's too heavy. Mm, I lost track of what we were talking about. Oh, well. See you guys when it's dry. I totally spaced what we were talking about. Uh, wouldn't change if I could. I'm sorry. <laughs> Much love. So, it didn't go too bad. We have hair still. I really, I thought that all this washing stripped my color, but to be honest, I went to the gas station and um, the lady asked me, because I go in there a lot, if I, um, you know, how I keep it so bright or if I touch it up a lot. So, and that was right after I just washed it the second time. So, um, kudos to the color, you know, it's really hanging in there. But, um, so anyways, that's not what we're here about, but... Uh, if you do follow me for, you know, uh, you know, the vivid colors and stuff, my roots, like, I swear, look at this. I don't know if you can see it very well. It, they literally like grew, look how dark they just grew out of nowhere. I swear it was like, just, just yesterday they weren't that dark. So we're probably going to be bleaching soon, which is why I wanted to get on here and end this video to let you guys know how my hair is doing after everything we just went through. It is not as soft as I would have thought mixing all these together. I mean, we mixed together a replenishing hair mask um, from Roots and I got this at the dollar, a dollar general, uh, you know, the main and tail deep moisture with the pro vitamin B5 I had in there, some head and shoulders, dry scalp, I think I threw in there. And I believe like a Tresemme for curls. So, I mean, I really feel like it should have um, gotten softer than it is. It's not bad. I can run my fingers through it. It hasn't gotten tangled. Um, and I did have it up in a bun earlier today. And I've been, you know, living my life. Is it soft? No, I am shedding quite a bit too. Um, I don't want to over moisturize my hair. So what we're probably going to do and because I'm going to be bleaching it is I'm just going to put in some of this Kenra silkening glass um, on my ends that I like. And I'm just going to just, you know, leave my hair alone and let my natural oils kind of come back through. And I'll just try to take, just leave her alone, basically. It's got quite the personality. So I'm just going to put this on my ends just to kind of do a little saving saving grace i love this it smells like strawberries oh it's my favorite i barely use it because i don't want to run out of it because i really like it but um anyways i know i'm off track but as you guys can see i am shedding quite a bit 
Uh, I don't want to over moisturize my hair. There is, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you guys, uh, I, this is like new to me within, I don't know, the last however many years. I wasn't paying much attention. I had a lot of other stuff going on, but it was interesting to me that, you know, how you can over moisturize your hair and, and mess it up that way. Or sometimes your hair might need protein, you know, like the keratin. So I've been, I've been, you know, learning and stuff uh, with that stuff for the past few years, really researching more into that. So I don't believe mine needs keratin because, or the protein, which would be a keratin. I do have like an ion keratin shampoo and conditioner. You're probably going to want to use that more after you would bleach your hair or something. Like if your hair is wet and it feels more like gummy or mushy, that's going to be probably too much moisture. Um, you can look it up online to double check this. I'm just going off the top of my head and my memory is terrible. But, you know, that would be where you would not want to do moisture. You'd, want, you'd need a protein treatment like a keratin. But you could also do too much protein in your hair and it can make it, you know, dull and dry as well. Or, you know, it can make it dull and dry that way. Um, so I don't want to over moisturize my hair. I don't think I have or else it would be, you know, because it's still got like a, a dry kind of coarse feel to it. But I definitely feel like with all the stuff I put in my hair, I could run the risk of over moisturizing. But it does look a lot better. Here's our before. That was fun. So it does look a lot better. And the silkening gloss on the ends and just kind of, you know, I'm not using a brush. I'm just using my fingers right now. I don't want to put any too much strain on my hair right now, especially if we're going to be bleaching and, and changing the color. So, you know, all in all, uh, we brought, I did bring, it did come back some, you know, but, uh, now I'm, I am probably going to let like my natural oils just kind of bring it back to life, give it a little break. And then I am going to just go big or go home and go for the X Mondo line since I keep talking about it. And I'm just going to go ahead and instead of going for the Wave Tech right now, since we're going to be doing like a lot of coloring, I'm just going to go for the Super Gloss. I'm going to do it. So that's, uh, I know I was saying before I wasn't sure if I was going to do it yet, but I believe that it is time. So, and one of you mentioned that it actually is at Sally's now, which is perfect because I was, our, at least they have the X Mondo line there, which is perfect. I'm sure all locations are different as far as what they're going to be carrying. So while we, while I go check out hair color um, and wander around at Sally's, I will also probably, you know, grab the X Mondo gloss if they have it. And if they don't, I'll just probably do maybe possibly like an Amazon order of it just to get it here faster than ordering off the website. But I think I'm going to get that because it will help with all this and it'll also I've seen it should be a good add-in for the color to do some diluting and to just help that color pop too at the same time so I'm really excited it's gonna have more than one use and it's gonna uh and it'll be fun to give it a try because my hair really needs it obviously putting a bunch of random conditioners together for my shower wasn't gonna be a miracle worker but I do believe that we are much better than where we were because uh, once I saw that knot in my hair, you guys, that kind of gave me a little, a little flashback of when my hair was uh, long like this before I cut it off at one point, and I had just the worst uh, snarl, big knot like that, and I really, th I actually think I did cut that out of my hair. It didn't make it too much of a difference because I have such thick hair, but still, I just thought, oh, real nice. Guess we'll be cutting it off before summer. But we are not. Sorry if you were excited about that. Don't worry, we have the wigs to cut. So look at that. It's looking good. Um, at least better than it was. I am able to run my fingers through it. But like I said, put that silkening gloss in. That made a difference. Just kind of give it a little bit. It did make kind of quite a big difference. Look at that silkening gloss. You can already see the shine in the camera. And it looks just so much smoother. So, all right. You guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed me trying to fix this mess and I look forward to the next video with you guys. Sorry, I'm just tight getting my hair all put away. This is how I kind of do it when I'm trying to leave it alone. Put it like a side ponytail. 
I really like to get the gloss like right under the nape of my neck. Like, my hair gets really dry there and then my ends and this helps me try to keep it away from my roots. I don't want my hair to feel greasy. So this is what I do and then it's kind of out of the way. I'm so used to short hair that the long hair is starting to bother me when it gets in my way. All right, so anyways, thank you so much for hanging out while we fix this. I think we fixed it. I think we did a good job. Look at that. It's got a lot less frizz. It's looking smooth. So, um, you know, like I said, it wasn't as smooth as I feel like it should be. So I'm definitely going to finally splurge and get that super gloss because uh, I think it just needs just needs a little bit extra love. And what better time than what I've just been want like you know been trying to find an excuse to try uh, another product in his line after that prismatic glow that was pretty awesome i thought but i feel like it just kind of just got me more hooked on his product but i really want to try the rest of them and i think what we need is super gloss what do you guys think i'm excited i i'm feeling a lot happier actually now because this is looking much healthier just from that little bit of silk and glass already so it was awesome hanging out with you guys and i don't know what else to say every time i try to say bye to you guys i just get this big warm fuzzy feeling in my chest where i just want to like hug you through the phone and um obviously i can't do that so it's always kind of an awkward ending for me <laughs> um yeah i'm making it more awkward anyways much love to you guys and i'll see you in the next video which shouldn't be too long because I'll miss you guys too much as usual. See you later. And hang in there, by the way. You better be. Say, so I think you are awesome. Bye. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys. I've had the Kenner Silkening Gloss in for uh, like 10 minutes now. And I took my, uh, the you know, hair thing out. Hair thing. I took this out and I wanted to just show you guys the difference that that made. Look at how smooth and silky smooth and silky smooth made a big difference a lot more shiny um so that's kind of my go-to saving grace gloss i just don't use it a lot you know i don't want to overdo it but i just want to show you guys because you know i was going by my little window here and i just thought you would want to see how uh, big a difference that made just from there to here and i hope to see you in the next video and if you're new then i hope you subscribe and i see you again too much love. Gotta love that it's Christmas all year, right? Just a reminder. I feel like I might have left some stuff in the dark. So just about the moisture and the keratin. So just in case any of you, it's bugging you. The A good balance would be if your hair stretches a bit and then goes back to its normal state, then you're probably good. Protein is like I said, that's the mushy gummy or cotton candy or your hair stretches far but does not return to its original state. Moisture would be the hair doesn't stretch or breaks when stretched and the hair feel, feels dry, rough, and brittle. Okay, the reason I wanted to really quick read that off to you is because if you're anything like me uh, and you watch that video and you know my brain doesn't work correctly. Sometimes what the point is, is I didn't want you to watch that video and go and start stressing or worrying about what keratin is or moisture, if your hair is good or isn't good. Because I know when I first found out, that's the first thing I did and it was bothering me. So just in case it was bothering you, there you go. I'll see you in my next video and I love you guys. Much love. Gotta go.